welcome back to my window. This last November, the Tin Pan Theater was alive with laughter, debuting a variety slash comedy show with a very funny host leading the way. The Nightlight Show with Shannon Kelly and Magnificent Guests was such a hit, they just finished their third show. That's part of my acting right there. <laughs> Shannon Kelly is that wonderful host, along with her friend Chelsea Woodsman C. Ladies, this is a show that you, a variety show that you came up with, and and it's taking off. Yeah, it's great. We are at Tin Pan Theater. Um, it was an idea I had kind of floating around for a couple years, actually, and then it just became really clear. I basically knocked on Chelsea's door repeatedly really for a good, threateningly. yeah, threateningly for yeah. like several days yeah. until she said yes, and um, everything really came together and has been a huge hit. Yeah, tell, tell us about it, though. It's not just, I mean, it's comedy, obviously. That's where you reached out to Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so comedy, it can be... Because Shannon's not funny at all. Not yeah, funny. very she, serious. Yeah, she's so dry. I knew that when, I, yeah. when she walked in here. We, we spike her cider just <laughs> yeah. to, like, liven it up a little she's bit. She's actually drunk right now. Yeah, she's wasted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, Shannon is so modest, but she's actually hilarious. <laughs> So the show is a kind of a variety of things, and I, and uh, I know as this airs, you had a show last night, but this is actually airing the week before, taping right. the week before. Right. So so the show we is hope the was awesome. doesn't burn down. In right. Between right. Right. We just look like weird liars, you yeah. know? Like, and why why would they lie? So yeah, yeah. So the show um, this next show that happened last night <laughs> is uh, we are we have two uh, speaking guests, Erica Riley, who owns Spork. And then also a woman named Tana Fenske, who works for the Visitor Center here in Bend, but she has a night job, which is writing romantic comedies, and she's been published several times, so she she's awesome. She was actually on the show. Oh, she's she was, really yeah. funny, too. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah she's really funny. She's great. And yeah. then um, the band Isles is going to play some music for us, and then our house band, The Gold Rust, has also got a few things prepared. And then there's all kinds of little surprises that happen as well. We try to make the show as layered as possible. So there's live comedy, there's taped comedy, you know, things we've filmed ahead of time, and then AMZ Productions, Jesse Locke, um, edits everything, puts it together in a little sketch or a music video or whatever it is that we're presenting. So um, a lot of live stuff for this show, or a lot of film stuff for this show. And then um, Chelsea and I do some live comedy. And then the interviews, of course. Like and, what, for example? Um, well, let's see. The first show that we did, we um, we created a character for Chelsea, and this was this woman owned a new food cart in town. It was a competing very, with Spork. Um, it was competing oh. with Spork. Oh, it's a very specific <laughs> demo. No one. Um, it's yeah. a very delicate area. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a it was a food it was cart. a food cart called Cramp My Style, and it was actually for people that are going through menstruation. Their menstruation. Oh, not just so. women, people. Because, because we don't, <laughs> yeah, we don't. Was it yeah. in a very small space? I had this little like cardboard truck that I made, and I was handing out like sad movies and chocolate. And I actually brought chocolate and was just chucking it at people in the audience. It was like very therapeutic. Well, tell um, us about your background, Chelsea. You know, I mean, how, I, did, she, how did you start chasing her? She down? really did stalk me. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. she emailed me, and I was like, "Who are I you? Emailed. I don't know who you are." And then we got together and had a beer, and I was like, "Seriously, I don't know. I don't know who you are." No, I contacted her brother. I contacted her boss. I sent her direct messages. Yeah. I was like, please, please, please say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, we got together, and I was like, I'm all in. This sounds great. I had just been discussing with some of kind of my drama nerd friends, and I was just really craving doing something outside of just the stand up. And I've only been doing stand up for, you know, very few years, maybe How did three that get years. started? You know, my brother really forced me to get up and do it, and it was the most horrifying thing I've ever done. Like, I remember, like, doing my first set and being like, thank you, I know, it was awesome, and then going backstage, like, <gasps> <laughs> paper bag, like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. And um, anyway, but my, my, actually, my whole family was really supportive. It was just something that um, I thought, you know, I'm going to really regret it in my life if I don't try at least once to go do comedy somewhere. Yeah. And I had, um, before I met Shannon, had just been discussing with some of my friends, like, I really want to do, like, a variety show or something apart from just the stand-up and it's really like especially um in bend it's just really male driven there's just a lot of guy com yeah. um Comedian. comedics com comedic uh guy <laughs> <laughs> a lot of male comedians uh -huh. and like they're very friendly to any of us girls that want to do it but i was just like you know i want to i want to branch out i want to do something else and it was just perfect timing shannon got a hold of me and i thought oh my god i'm so grateful that they approached me and now I'm just kind of faking it and hoping they don't realize that I have no talent. Yeah, and she was talking to me that, right. about that before. Well, that's but why I keep spiking her cider. Yeah, so. excellent. <laughs> nice job. So you have an Indiegogo campaign going on. Yeah, so Indiegogo is an international fundraising campaign like Kickstarter. We are doing a small campaign. We're basically looking to get the next five shows 
funded, so that gives us enough time to experiment and get the show profitable because we want to do this for the long haul. Yeah. We want everyone to be able to participate fully and make it a priority and continue delivering a really good product to our audience. So, Well, it's getting rave reviews. I mean, I, I found you on The Source back in November, and actually, I stalked you down too, but <laughs> unsuccessfully the first few, few goes. There's different <laughs> layers of stalking. There, well, there's like leave messages. Stalking and yeah, because you're a yogi stalking. by day. When you leave right. messages at a yogi, yoga studio, you can often get a phone call back <laughs> anytime soon. Days, it's yeah. like, <laughs> We'll yeah. call you when we're back from India. <laughs> okay, excellent. But, well, great. I hope the show was successful last night, <laughs> which I'm sure it will be. But you also have Wednesday nights? Uh, yeah, Wednesday nights we are doing a screening of our best of material. So all of our favorite things that we've filmed, we made a little 30-minute video. I, I mean, I should say Jesse made a little 30-minute yeah, video. Yeah. Um, but we're using that to take us through the fundraising campaign. That's Wednesday nights at 8.30. It's a $6 admission at the door. Tin it's, Pan? Yeah, Tin Pan Theater. It's a lot of fun. It's really, feel, it, I mean, I think. If you haven't, if you don't have an opportunity to go see one of our live shows, going to see one of the best of screenings is so awesome. It's six bucks. It's at the Tin Pan, and it's there's hilarious. Beer and you popcorn just, there. Yeah, popcorn yeah. Really well, yeah. Mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. you Say know, no more. Yeah, if it didn't sound appealing enough, there's yeah. beer and popcorn. There. <laughs> it, it, it's just nice to get a little taste of what we're doing. If yeah. you can't make it to a live show or you missed it or exactly. it was sold out, which happens really quickly, tickets sell out for our shows yeah. really quickly. So going to see the best of is just the great way to get a little snippet of what we're doing. Yeah. Well, ladies, it's awesome. I love Thank it. You. I'm sorry, I say awesome a lot, but so do we. Oh. We like that word. Yeah, it's like awesome. Word. It is awesome. <laughs> well, so awesome. great job. Thank um, you so let's much. Let's have you back on. We'd love, cool. really, We'd love, love to. to hear about your next show. And sure. how this last one went, although we know it went really well. <laughs> cool. Thank, Thank you so much. You're welcome. My window from the Belfry will be right back. Mm -hmm.